Good day everyone, my name is Mahilan and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I am in Adelaide City, South Australia and we are going on a tour to the International Stadium Adelaide Oval. The white color curved structure you can see behind me is the Adelaide Oval Stadium. This playground was built in 1871 and it carries a long history for past 150 years. There are different kind of tours being operated to visit this stadium and we are going on one of them to visit and see what are the places in this stadium and how it's being operated. If you guys are keen for any kind of tours, I will leave the link of the website in the description below and you can check out from there. Alright guys, we are going to go inside. If you guys are new to this channel or watching without subscribing, consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon and without further delay, let's go to the stadium. We are here guys, this is the south gate of this Adelaide Oval. There are entrances on all four sides of this ground and this is the southern entrance. Look at here, there is a statue of a cricket player at the entrance. The name of this player is mentioned at the below. The name of this player is Clam Hill. Apart from cricket, Australian football and rugby matches happen in this playground. Representing those games, you guys can see a statue of a rugby player installed here. There is also another statue of a player who is holding the rugby ball by his hands. Look at this statue guys, this is a statue of a legendary cricketer, Sir Donald Bradman, the greatest cricketer of all time. This statue is also installed at the entrance of the Adelaide Oval Stadium. Alright guys, now let's go inside this stadium. When we come inside, inside a room here, there is a 3D demo structure of this Adelaide Oval playground and stadium. This was a gift presented here by Adelaide University in 2015. On one side of this room, you guys can see a digital display which shows how this Adelaide playground changed over the last 150 years. Likewise, on this side, there are some photos of cricket and rugby games happened in this playground displayed here. As you guys see, there are old black and white and new colorful photos. On the bottom, there is a glass cabinet inside which you can see some historical collections. There are some books, old entrance tickets, team photos, players' badges, game shields, and there is also a pair of wicket-keeping gloves and a ball kept for display. This is how the soil profile of this Adelaide playground is designed guys. On the top of the soil there are two different levels of grass. Normally the grass is grown up to 20 to 28 mm for football or rugby and 8 to 12 mm for cricket. There is a separate section in this room where the cricket collections of Sir Don Bradman are displayed. 
taking photos or filming videos are prohibited in that section so unfortunately sorry guys I cannot cover that section in this video alright guys it's time to start our guided tour here Bob is our guide today and he is taking us to the first place let's go This Adelaide Oval playground and stadium has a total area of 16,132 meters squared and a maximum capacity of 53,500. Look how beautiful this playground is. The first place we are visiting today is the place used by football and rugby players. You can see some pictures of famous rugby players on the wall over there. Bob is giving us some introduction about Australian football and rugby. We will visit this compound first and then we will go to the cricket compound and facilities. Now we are going to the visiting club and change room. Let's see what we can find there. This is the place where the football and rugby players do their practice internally. You can see this place is secured by nets and there is a camera which is unbreakable easily. When you look around this place, you can notice that there are nets installed protecting the lights and other breakable assets from the rugby ball while the players practice here. Alright guys, let's go to the next place. This place has a whiteboard here and it is a kind of classroom guys. This is where the players, coaches, team owners and team strategists meet and talk about the game plans before the games. As indicated here, phones, laptops, smart watches and tablets are not allowed in this room. As there are a lot of betting and gambling involved about the games, these equipment are prohibited here. So everyone's on their phone saying, quick, you know, yeah. back such and such, back such and such. So it's all to do with gambling. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is, the only people that are, are allowed to have phones, Sorry. other than my cult men, uh, is um... When you come past that planning room, there are storage lockers for the players available on both sides. There are some showers in this section and following them you can see a couple of jacuzzis where the players can take ice bath after the game. Here on this whiteboard you can see a game plan from the last match played here. As we are coming out to the field, you guys can notice there are a few people walking on the rooftop. There are also roof climbing tools available in this Adelaide Oval ground. You guys can find more information from the link below in the description. <laughs> Look how big is this playground, it is very tidy as well, government should be spending heaps of money for this playground's maintenance. Now we are inside a part of a stadium here. Let's go inside and see what we can find here.
the next place we are visiting in this tour is a very big old scoreboard which was built in 1911. This scoreboard can only be operated manually and there will be four people working in this scoreboard while cricket match is happening. Just along with this old scoreboard, you guys can also see an electronic scoreboard in the direction where Bob shows now. Alright guys, let's go inside this old scoreboard now and see how it is operated. The scorer can view the entire game through this window. He can operate this electric board to record the game. The bulbs on the top are bowlers, the 11th bulb is for the wicket keeper and the last two black bulbs are for the batsman. You can see the names of the players of last game are written here and when you tap the switch the bulb will glow so that audience know which bowler bowls and which batsman bats. When you open this, you can see a very simple electric circuit. This electric board is being used from 1930 till now. The wires and bulbs are serviced whenever it's necessary. Very simple. You've got the best spot of all because the door's open. Young lady, what, what score is that? 32 years. Back to front. And for a century, all they do is open up the little door. That's where the score is recorded. The first number of score is slid into the frame there and it will be erected so that it will be visible to the audience. The next place is where the bowlers are indicated. You can see a yellow color arrow there. There is a rope with number plates to operate that one. As Bob says, when the ring with number 8 is hooked in the nail, the arrow goes and indicates the number 8 bowler. Very simple things, which have been designed over time. So, as I said, please feel free to take any photos and we'll get out of here. This is where the score is registered, guys. This tooth wheel helps to rotate the numbers and update the score. The grass of this ground is maintained very well guys. Definitely the government will be spending heaps of money to protect and maintain every asset of this playground and stadium. Now let's go to the next place and see what we can find there. Here, there are some photos of this Adelaide ground and some games happen here. There are a lot of different games happen here, guys. The photo which Bob shows now is an old photo of this Adelaide stadium. There were also cycling competitions happened in this ground before. You can see a photo. You can also see a photo of harness racing happen here back in the days. And there are plenty of photos of football, rugby and cricket games displayed here. In this section there are some photos of famous players hanged on the walls. Look at this photo of a lady here. She is Faith Thomas. She was the first indigenous Australian woman to represent Australia in any international sport.
The next section we are visiting is Sheffield Shield Room. The Sheffield Shield is the domestic first class cricket competition of Australia contested between teams from the six states of Australia. This is the Sheffield Shield guys. Also on the bottom there are some of the trophies and shields related to the Sheffield Shield tournament are displayed here. In this glass cabinet you can see some old sportwares and equipment used for the Sheffield Shield tournament. On one side of this room there is a wall of fame on which the names of the South Australian players who played the Sheffield Shield tournament are listed. Likewise, on another side of the room, you can see South Australian cricket timeline on which the achievements and records of South Australian team are displayed. Sheffield Shield winners. Here you can see the title winners of Sheffield Shield tournament. In 120 completed seasons, New South Wales have won the most titles with 47 followed by the other states. You can see a statue of a cricket player George Giffen here. He took all 10 wickets in an innings for 66 runs, becoming the first bowler outside England to bowl a whole side out. He is also the first Australian to take 1,000 first class wickets and score 10,000 runs. Let's go to the next section, guys. The next section is the shower and spa area for the cricket players. Following that, the next place is where the cabin lockers for cricket players present. This place would have been used and still being used by all kind of cricket players across the world. Look at these two boards on the wall guys. The first one carries the names of the players who scored test centuries in the Adelaide Oval and the second one carries the names of the players who has best test bowling figures in this ground. These two boards carry the names of the players outside Australia and the names of the Australian players who achieved the same are listed on other two boards on the opposite. Alright guys, we are going through the next place now. In this place, the live sound during a match was recorded and it is being played here. You guys can experience how this ground and stadium sounds like during a match. Here you can see few seats. This is where the players, coaches and others used to sit before and after the games. In this Adelaide Oval playground, there is a stadium in the name of Sir Donald Bradman to honor him. Alright guys, let's go to the next place. Right, 
there is a bar and restaurant on the top floor of this stadium. It is called as Devin Hook's Terrace Bar. People can dine and have drinks during games here. In this place, you guys can see the dresses, photos, sports equipment, trophies and shields of Australian football and rugby. All these are being kept safe for a long time and displayed here. The next place we are visiting now is the media room of this Adelaide Oval playground. This is the media room guys. This is where the media people from different countries sit and work during a match day. All their efforts are brought to us through television and internet. From this media room, look at the view of this playground guys. You can notice everything from here. Such a great view. When you look at the desk in this media room, they are installed in different heights so that everyone sitting here and working can watch the entire game and the ground easily. On our way back, in this corridor, you guys can see a photo of this Adelaide Oval when an Australian football match was happening. The next photo is a photo taken during a test cricket match. The audience is small compared to the football and on the top of the stadiums you guys can see some cranes are sitting. I think this match should have been conducted while they were renovating these stadiums. Alright guys, we came to the end of our tour around this beautiful Adelaide Oval playground and stadium. Our tour guide Bob was so good and he showed us every place patiently with a lot of information. I would like to thank him and the management at this instance and that's a wrap guys. I hope you guys would have enjoyed this video and if you did so, please consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon to watch videos like this every week. I will see you all in another beautiful episode. Till then, thanks for watching and cheers.